Hello everyone, today I'm gonna be unboxing and testing out my first e-bike, the Sail Novo Holding e-bike. This e-bike has 4 color variations and I got their black and blue version. It comes with 14 inches wheel size with rear suspension. It can fit only single speed with 18 miles per hour max speed. Motor has 350 watts with 36 volts, 374 watt hour lithium battery. So here's your uh, user manual. Here's your AC power supply adapter. Here's the removable uh, cushioned seats. It's a height adjustable seat with a reflector underneath. Here's your pair of removable uh, pedal. Now let's remove the main unit out of the box. Let's remove the styrofoam packaging out. Let's bring up the handlebar and uh, secure the uh, lock. Let's install the seat, adjust the height, and securely lock it. I'm a small guy, so I'm adjusting it lower. So this is just about right for my height. So Sail Novo gives you two pair of uh, keys to turn on your electric motor. So now let's install the pedal. They're both labeled for which one is left and which one is right. It also came with a dirt bike style fender for both rear and front wheel. Motor is enabled by turning on with the key provided. Right side inner handle is the throttle. On the left handle, you have your light switch. These are your handle brakes. There's one button beside the LCD screen to select your speed mode. There's a two small LED headlights with a modern frame design in the front. Here's how the light looks like using it at night. It's actually pretty bright. This bike has a dual disc brakes front and back. Pedals can be folded for easy transport. The seat is cushioned with a sporty look aesthetic. There's also a reflector uh, underneath the seat. The branding is not that big which is good in my opinion. This bike also features central shock absorber to reduce the bumpy ride. Charging port is at the back underneath the tail light. It also comes with a rubber cover for water protection. Drew is only single speed but that's not really a big deal for me. Handlebar is fixed height and can be folded for storage. Here's your kickstand with rubber feet. It loosen the brakes a little cause it's rubbing the disc producing a noise. LCD monitor displays the battery level, your speed, speed mode, and trip meter. LCD monitor is bright enough under sunlight. Here's how it looks like during the night. Now let's go ahead and take it for a spin.
scratch.
see what this bike can do so far so good and 12 miles Battery bar showing two bars. I'm not pedaling right now. I'm helping out right now, pedaling. Pedal assist. good for a small e-bike now I'm using the throttle again Assist. Just using the uh, I'm just using the throttle right now. I'm not pedaling. It's going uh, 0.6. All right. Six six miles per hour. like a mountain bike it's really slow Santa Clarita
taking me to Toronto right now. And it is squeaky. I don't know what's that. I think it's the shocks. It's running slow. Going 10. the brakes So cold.
brakes. Awesome, I did adjust it. I did loose it because it's uh, robbing the disc brake. Just about right, just about right. Me too. Hey Google, what time it is?
So for my first impression, I gotta say, it seems like a solid choice for my first e-bike. It's got enough power to cruise around the nearby parks, which is exactly what I wanted. But after about 4 rides, I noticed a bit of squeaking coming from the shock absorber, which is a bit annoying. Also the seat cushion isn't as comfy as I hope it would be. I'm thinking of checking out Amazon for a better one to replace it. Besides those issues, though the ride itself is pretty smooth, even tackling uphill sections with pedal assist isn't a problem. Anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you're interested in checking out this e-bike, I'll drop a link in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.